declamation is very different from all the events because you're not writing the speech yourself. So you get to choose any published piece of written work. It has to be published. Your speech could be anything from a speech given at a graduation or speech that your favorite motivational speaker gave or a piece of writing that you really want to give and show to other people because it's in your favorite book or something from a script in your favorite movie. It could be something that's funny. It could be something that's dramatic. It could be something that will inspire people. Anything that you're interested in, if you talk about it, your audience will be interested in that as well. Declamation speech, you're also going to include a short introduction that really explains why you chose this speech, what's going on in the speech, who's talking, and what the impact of this speech was. You know, people always ask me, you know, what happened to you? How did you overcome what you've been through? The title of the message that I've been given is Transforming the Walls into Doors. When I speak corporately, the line I like to use is changing obstacles into opportunities. Now, I am very well aware to share with you as well. I know that there are a billion people going hungry today. I know that this year, a million people will commit suicide. That, that is one every second. I know today there are a million slaves, and I've met sex slaves, and I've seen the top of the pyramid as far as business, and I've met billionaires. I've met bankers, and I've also met orphans. We're all looking for something. We're all looking for hope. Hope you can't just have because you were born with hope. No, we're born with pain. We're born and live through difficulties. In my life, my parents always taught me that even though we don't know why I was born this way, that we have a choice, either to be angry for what we don't have or to be thankful for what we do have. The power of that choice was the first thing I had to overcome and to decide for myself, especially in the early years. This speech was given by Nick Vudashik, um, a motivational speaker who travels throughout the world, who was born in Australia. He's given speeches to congresses, met presidents around the world, and given speeches to crowds over 100,000 people and has many invitations for him to speak. In all his speeches, he talks about the meaning and value of life and anti-bullying. The greatest thing is love. When we feel like we don't have enough love and we don't have enough hope, we start losing the strength to live. For me, in my life as a child, I had a big wall. I was surrounded by four walls and a low ceiling of opportunity. I was set free in so many different ways, and especially surviving from day to day with my parents who loved me, who encouraged me, who told me that I was beautiful the way that I was, and not to worry about what other people said about me. Do's and don'ts of declamation. So the first thing is do memorize your piece. This is very important as you want to make it seem as much as possible as you're the person who is giving this speech. You really want to put your message across to the audience and you want them to relate and you want them to understand what you're saying. Also going along with, with um, memorizing, you need to use hand gestures. This is very important to make your points clear and to emphasize certain words and to make it look like you're confident and know what you're talking about. The next thing is use your knowledge on your topic to get back on track if you forget your piece. Even if you forget your piece, you have a general idea from practicing what your piece is about. So to keep yourself on track, even though it may be a little bit off, um, you don't want to try and do this. But, uh, but if you're giving a piece, just start talking and you're in the middle of a performance and you'll eventually get back to where you're supposed to be as long as you stay calm and you smoothly go through your speech without freaking out. The next thing is be loud enough for your audience to hear. You definitely want to do this and use voice inflection because this is very important when your audience is trying to really understand what you're saying and 
it gets boring if you're just talking low and monotone and they won't be interested in your speech. The next thing is think before you speak, especially for the introduction. Um, this is the only portion that you really get to say your words, so you really want to get across what you're trying to say and really set the scene for your speech. The next thing is to stay interested. You want your audience to be interested, so if you act like you're interested, they will be interested. The next thing is move around the room while you're talking. That That is just like all the other speech events. You definitely want to move around the room so that you're not in one place the whole time and it makes it a little bit more interesting. Next thing is be confident, definitely, and be respectful to competitors. For don'ts, don't freak out if you forget something. You practiced a lot, so it will come back to you as long as you relax. Next is don't bore your audience. You want your audience to be interested in what you're saying, and you definitely want to pick a piece that isn't going to make them fall asleep. So something that everyone will be interested in and something that you're interested in. Next one is don't stay monotone and don't use unclear transitions in your piece. This is where moving around the room um, really comes into place. The next thing is get, don't get distracted while you're speaking. If you get distracted, your audience will be focusing on that thing that you're distracted with. The next thing is don't mumble when speaking or look unsure on what you're saying. This goes back to all the other ones. If you are distracted or if you aren't speaking loud enough or mumbling, if you don't practice your speaking voice, the audience won't be clear on what you're saying. So overall, you definitely want to choose a piece that is interesting, something that everyone might have heard before, or maybe if they didn't hear before, they will really like. Um, it doesn't have to be something that's sad. It could be a funny speech. It could be a dramatic speech. It could really be anything as long as it's published work. You definitely want to remember to block and cut your speech. And that is basically blocking. You want to write where you're going to move somewhere, where you're going to do a certain hand gesture, or you're just to keep you in check in so you can remember and it's easier to smoothly do things like hand gestures and movement throughout your piece. Um, definitely for declamation, you're going to want to cut your speech because some speeches are 20 minutes and you only have 10 minutes. So maybe you want to take out things that aren't as important or something that when you read it over, you realize the audience isn't going to be interested in.